Hey guys, just finished another awesome thing here. This is actually a mod for Doom 2. Doom 2 came out back in, like, what was it, 1993? And they're still making, like, well, people are still making new stuff for it. And uh, uh, this was probably one of the craziest things I've ever played in my life for Doom 2. Or, you know, it was actually really good all, all around, just in general. But I can't believe how much work went into this and how amazing it was. This is Pirate Doom 2. It's a pirate-themed Doom 2 new campaign and there's 32 levels so you get like the um, there's 30 regular levels and then you get the two secret levels the last level level 30 is kind of like um, almost like a little bonus level but you have um, level 29 is the final boss I found it a while back on Doom World I don't know how I came across it because I'd never heard of Pirate Doom before and this is the sequel to Pirate Doom called Pirate Doom 2 as made by someone called Darch or, or D Arch, and um, they post over on Doom World, and they just posted. They were like, "Download this thing." So I got it, and um, holy shit, this is craziness! So it starts out real nice and easy. You're just like on a pirate ship, just a, sort of on a beach. You take out a couple pirates. You know, it's nothing too crazy. And then in the very beginning, it just seems kind of like, "Oh, this is kind of cute." A little pirate ship map. You know, it's uh, you know, nothing crazy. But then you get to level two, and you're like, oh wow, this is a little bit more um, advanced, just the way it's all set up and everything. And like, the levels flow so well into each other that it's it's almost like a consistent sort of path through the game. Some of the levels, even when you start, you can like turn around, and you can actually see some of the previous level behind you, which is kind of impressive, because you would have to actually import that into the map and put it just like out of... Um, out of an area you can go because you can't just look back into other maps naturally so it's pretty neat how everything is done so well like um, it just seems like such a perfect game this pirate doom 2 all the character models are like their new pirate versions they're all the same guys but they'll have like pirate hats on or like uh, the cyber demon he's he's like the cyber pirate I think he's got like a parrot on his shoulder here there's a couple new enemies in the game the final boss is a new enemy and there's these tribal um, warrior guys that are really a pain in the ass. They're new. They're very fast. They like run back and forth fast and then shoot fast at you. Um, you don't find them until like the later half of the game. But like all the enemies, they're um, they have uh, they look so cool with their little pirate outfits and even the animations is perfect. Like you shoot a guy and his pirate hat will go spinning off into the ground, or you kill the cyber demon like his. This bird even blows up and you got feathers come down onto your like bloody pile and shit. Some of these maps are just so incredible and so big. I don't know how somebody could have even made them because <laughs> I used to make uh, maps for Doom 2 back in the 90s and we didn't have some of like the modern editors. We had this, I think it was called like DEU2 and I'll see if I can find a picture of it. I'll show a picture up on the screen here if I can find one. But it was all like uh, lines and like vertices and stuff. It was all like it's a top-down 2D. You're just dealing with these like, uh, like almost like wireframes, I think they call them. Whoa, my video just went crazy. They're like these wireframe sort of a thing. And um, you would assign textures on them and things like that. But you would never actually see the game itself. And you couldn't just play it. You have to save, exit the editor, then you know, load up Doom 2 with your command line with your level in it and then you'd get to see it or whatever but like you could just jump in and out. It was very um, very basic back in the day but these days there's even new engines and they have new editors and everything and uh, just some of the things that the, uh, the Darch here made when making this level it just blows my mind seeing this stuff like how, how everything works in the levels or just, just the way things work, like um, all these little traps that they have, and the way different levels connect, and rising stairs. Like I remember making rising stairs, but the stairs in this game, this everything is just so well planned. I just wonder how much time went into planning before making it. It's like professional quality, and then some. You know, actually, I would even say that this is the level design in Pirate Doom 2 is even better than the level design in Doom 2. It's so great. It's so crazy. There's all new weapons in this game too. Like they have, there's very similar weapons. They're mostly just a reskin, but I think some of them are a little tweaked a little bit. Like the uh, the handgun, the pistol. You have like this sort of like a flintlock pistol, I guess, like the old pirate gun. And you got, uh, but it shoots a lot faster. It seems like it shoots faster anyway. 
I actually was using it a lot in the game just because I found it useful, whereas in Doom I would never use the pistol. But there was like, a, there was a musket that sort of replaces the shotgun. It's pretty good, I like that one a lot. Then there's the uh, a blunderbuss, which is the super shotgun, the double barrel. That gun is crazy in this, it's you know same as the double barrel in Doom, but it's very effective. There's um, it's like a Gatling gun kind of a thing. There's, uh, you don't have a plasma rifle in this one, you have the grog launcher, and it shoots like grog, which is this, this shit pirates used to drink, I guess, but it's basically almost like an acid, it seems, in the game. And <laughs> there's the, uh, for instead of a um, cannon or uh, a rocket launcher, you have a cannon, you shoot cannonballs. And the, uh, the BFG is now like a grog bomb, like it's like a grenade, you light it. Off your cigar and you throw it and then it'll blow up just like a bfg everyone who's around gets taken out and whoever gets hits gets really a lot of damage done to them or whatever yeah this is this game is just insane it, it blows my mind so i used um i used gz doom version 4.11 to play this oh and i should mention this is all free to play you guys should just play this right now i'll put just um, i'm gonna put some instructions in the uh, description so show you how to get it and where to get the uh, GZ Doom, so you can play that. The uh, sound effects in the game are all pretty good. They all go with the guns and with everything else. You have the guys yelling out like, um, what do they say when you kill them? They say all kinds of stuff like abandoned ship and all these piratey kind of terms. You hear pirate talk all throughout the, uh, the, the maps as you're playing. The maps start out pretty short uh, for the most part. Very nice, very well designed. But as you're going throughout and get maybe about midway, the maps start becoming a lot longer. And um, it just seems like the skill level of the map maker on this has just been going like straight up. And as you play, <laughs> the further you get, the maps just become crazier and crazier. Like, I can't even believe it. I'd just be sitting there playing and I'd just be like walking around looking at stuff. So I just can't believe how amazing it is. Just the, and the art is so awesome. It's all this pirate sort of art. Uh, it all looks so fantastic. Maybe because of the new engine, maybe that has something to do with it, or maybe it's just designed really well. There's some things that are that are really cool that I found, um, like uh, there's a lot of hidden teleporters in here where they took away the um, the effect. Normally, when you go through a teleport, you get this effect on the screen, but that doesn't that's not there anymore, so you can't even tell. So like there's this one room or one map where there's these. It's almost like this the one with this, the doors all over where you go through this door, then you come out this door, and you go through this door, and you come out this door kind of a thing. But if you open the map while you're doing it and running around, you can sort of watch. You can tell where the teleporters are using the map, but you wouldn't know it from just playing it. And just the way that it sort of um, fakes all this stuff in a way that looks real, but the engine can't do it. Like normally you can't have, you know, you can't connect a room here with a room here you know, but you can have a teleporter here. So as soon as you go to the door here on this side, you're opening it, that's this door. You teleport here to this part. You're opening the door here and you walk through and you're like, there's the door I just went in over there. I just can't believe the, uh, <laughs> I keep saying, I, I can't believe how good the level design in this. So I really can't, it's just so impressive. I hope John Romero plays this. He's gotta play this this uh, Pirate Doom 2. He's gonna be blown away if he plays this. And for the most part, I would say that the levels are pretty good. Um, well, not good, they're all good, but the most part is pretty fair um, for your weapons and all that. Towards the end, though, I got just overwhelmed by guys in some of these levels, and I had to cheat. Which, you know, kind of not cool, but I was playing on the second hardest difficulty, so maybe that had something to do with it, but I, I would find that I would run out of ammo a lot, and uh, I just didn't have enough ammo for the amount of guys, so I would have to... The, you know, the codes are all burned into my mind forever, so I would do IDFA, so that's uh, free ammo, which gives you all the guns and ammo, like you already have all the guns pretty much, but like it fully loads up all your ammo again, so you're good to go. I never use IDKFA, because IDKFA is keys and free ammo, and that's like really cheating, because you would get all the keys and you could just break the levels, so I would only use the free ammo ones. And there was a couple times that, unfortunately, and it's kind of embarrassed to say, I had to use God Mode, IDDQD. I had to use that like maybe three times, four times. Um, a couple of the times, though, it was because I made it, I got to a level, right? And I was like doing real good. 
and then I would get killed near the end of the level and I'd forgotten to save it and so I would have to go through all that again and it'd be like 40 minutes of insanity to just, <laughs> just to get back where I was so in those cases I would get pissed off and I would just put on the god mode and go just on a killing spree and get back there a lot faster when you don't have to watch it watch out for stuff <laughs> It's kind of cheap, but it, I mean, oh, what can you do, right? Some of the notable levels, I would say, Chess with the Queen, that was the first time I had difficulty, and, and probably the first time I had to cheat. I think it was an ammo cheat I needed in that one. Can't remember exactly. Um, but then that went, went further on, there was, a, there was a Tavern Brawl level. That was so awesome. I had to fight a Cyber Pirate in there, and a bunch of smaller guys, but just the level, the way the level is designed, I mean, it's so cool. Your health pickups are like, little uh, things of, of ale and you got like bought wine bottles and the guy just boozes it up to heal heal his health back and it was so fun um, this this tavern brawl was such a good level right after the tavern brawl you come into this giant town I don't remember what it was but it's map 22 it was friggin amazing huge town and I think that led to the lighthouse there's this level called the lighthouse and it's a two-part level part one is um, it's friggin' amazing. You're you're in this dark area, and you got this lighthouse, and and it's spinning its light around, and it's lighting up the whole area, just like a real lighthouse would do. And it's very kind of eerie and kind of scaryish. You're sort of walking along. Nothing's really going on. There's a couple guys, and you get up to this top part, and then the music changes, which is I think part of the new engine. I think that gives you the ability to change music on the fly within levels. And this has that, this game. Like some of the levels it changes two or three times at very cool points. Um, but like when this happened on the lighthouse level, it got real scary for a second. And then I noticed by the lighthouse all these friggin' caco demons coming out from behind. All these guys, like so many guys coming at me. Um, that was such a cool level. And then once you eventually get in the lighthouse, that's the part two of the level, which is the next, the next one. And you have to fight your way up to the top of the lighthouse and beat up the lighthouse guy at the top. And then, you know what you do at the top of the lighthouse? You board a flying ghost ship, and that's a level. You're on a ghost ship level. Unbelievably amazing. And they had stuff in that level that was really, it blew my mind as well. Stuff like wall textures, really nice wall textures with moving, like, mist along the wall textures. Like, I don't know how that was even done, because it was so smooth. So I don't know how, I, I imagine it was a moving texture really close like not right on but like just just maybe just in front by like, like a pixel just so it showed and then it was like an animated texture a tiling scrolling texture that's all i can think of how they did that i don't know how they did that but um that ghost ship level was awesome the level after that was really hard it was cannibal island i had to cheat on that one big time <laughs> that one was ridiculous you got to go up this gigantic like mountain in the middle a lava mountain some of these maps are just so big too, like it, you can see all the way across the map on some of them, and the guys can see you too, and they'll be shooting at you from across the map sometimes. Kind of a pain in the ass. Then at the end, you know what, you know what, the music in this game is so amazing and so perfect. I actually felt like I was playing like a Banjo-Kazooie for a while, you know, on the beach level, where it has that kind of piratey sort of sound. And then later I was thinking, you know what, this reminds me a lot of Monkey Island, and you know, maybe it even is music from Monkey Island. I don't know, but it's um, it's perfect pirate music that fits. Every single level has perfectly picked music that goes with it, like a, as if it was meant to be. And um, I was playing through, and you know, I'm thinking I'm thinking Monkey Island, that kind of thing. And that's when I see LeChuck on the wall in a picture. LeChuck is the bad pirate from Monkey Island games. He's the bad guy, and that's who the final boss is in this game. You're actually fighting the Monkey Island guy, with the pirate, the Dread Pirate LeChuck, is that his name? I forget exactly, but yeah, you're fighting that guy. Eventually you get to go to um, this little town, it's almost like a credits town where you show credits afterwards or something. Kind of like Toe Jam and Earl where you go to that island at the end of the game after you beat it where you can see all the other guys. And you can see these, um, you can see these Monkey Island guys just hanging out around town. Some of them even have the little chat thing coming up little text chat, a uh, little scrolling text wall or whatever, and it's in the Monkey Island font even. 
It was so cool. This was easily the best new mod I've ever played in my life. I don't know if anything is even going to compare to this. I have a couple others that i got to try out, but, I mean, I don't know how they can even hold up against this. This is so good. So, what would I rate this? You know, the original Doom 2, I gave a rating of 10 out of 10. And, um, yeah, I still think it's a 10 out of 10. And then this game, it's even, even crazier. So, you know, it's got to also be a 10. But you know what? I didn't have to cheat in Doom 2, but I did have to cheat a few times in this one. So, I'm going to call it a 10 out of 10, but you know... You might call it a 9.5 out of 10 just because you had to cheat. You know, let's go and let's call it a 9.5 out of 10. Just because there's some levels where there wasn't enough ammo to deal with all the guys that I had coming at me. So I had to cheat. There was no other way. So, yeah, we'll go with 9.5 out of 10. Absolute must play. One of the best things I've ever played. I can't believe how amazing this is. You gotta try it. You gotta check it out right now. Uh, <laughs> read the... Um, description of this video and you'll they'll have instructions on how to check it out and uh, it's just gonna blow your mind it's insane yeah anyways um hit that subscribe button if you feel like it and uh, if you feel like clicking that thumbs up or down go ahead and press that too and yeah we'll see you guys next time i guess um, lots more stuff to check out and um, still gonna go with the same sort of thing like new old school games or mods for old games you know i always say at the end if anyone has anything that you want to suggest maybe mention it below in the comments and i'll see if i can check it out and you know i added a couple more games from steam on there the new ones that are coming out put them on my wish list so i won't lose track so yeah anyways pirate doom 2 amazing check it out anyways we'll see you later have a good one